It has the power of a truck that can be driven like a scooter. We've come to the river Po in Italy to discover the new generation of hovercraft being developed as part of a European research project. 50 years after its first appearance, the hovercraft has a role as a versatile and adaptable vehicle, particularly in emergency situations. Supported by a cushion of air and driven by a propeller, it moves on water and on land, getting to places where boats or cars can't. Now, several innovations have made this complex machine easier to operate. One of the most important innovations is in the system of surface control. It's called flaptons and compensates for the hovercraft's tendency to lean into curves. We have this command that allows us to put the nose down, nose up, reverse, left and right. The engine is like an outboard motor. It can be detached and attached on another hovercraft or on two coupled hovercraft to obtain a larger hovercraft. This hovercraft can be used in environmental research or to survey oil spills, for example. But it can also be used for rescue, as in this simulation. The hovercraft can help us when we work on the river, at sea and, above all, in floods. For this vehicle to be an effective solution, the training on how to operate it is critical. Maneuvering towards someone in the water requires a great deal of skill. So, where did the idea of creating a new generation of hovercraft come from? It all began at a castle in Italy's Liguria region, which served as the base for the research. Here, naval engineers and other experts looked into many possible innovations to the craft's original design. 27 years ago, I bought a company in which there were two small hovercraft made in the USA. From there, I saw that there were opportunities to work in the lagoon, but these hovercraft were too small, with two-stroke engines. Now, the research to improve the hovercraft involves specialists at a European level. The Hoverspill Consortium got assistance from experts in the fields of fluid dynamics, mechanical engineering and propellers. All their input was necessary to come up with this new, specialized craft. Their combined efforts not only generated a multitasking and easily adaptable vehicle, but also developed an extensive program for the prevention of coastal disasters, Shore Sentinel. Shore Sentinel will be based in Venice and along the River Po. This location should provide cover for emergencies in some 200 or 300 municipalities. Teams with specialist equipment will be ready to go in major emergency situations like floods in Bangladesh, with hovercrafts stored in containers at Rotterdam Airport ready for shipping. 